previously on the Youth Edition. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Youth Edition. It's Oldham Athletic, it's Dylan Allen on a quest for Champions League glory. It's time to sit back, relax and get in that comfy chair, put it on the big screen TV, crack your favourite beverage, because here we go with the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode FIFA 19 with Oldham Athletic. We sit in fourth position. I don't see us catching Stoke at all. Uh, but a real opportunity here for us to be playing in the playoffs and try and push for Premier League promotion. It is the business end. We are into February. We're out of all the cup competitions. We can solely concentrate on getting victories and pushing forward. Uh, the transfer window is done. We just need to push on here. So let's jump into it with a player upgrade. Today's player upgrade is for Karsdorp, and this one comes from Callum Mooney. Thank you very much for your comment. 30 thumbs up. Uh, the number 88, an undershirt with a turtleneck boxing tape that is blue on both hands and some blue Adidas boots. Now, we've brought in Karsdorp. He's a free agent, probably just for a little bit of squad depth, maybe an emergency buy here for Dylan Allen. But uh, we'll see if he gets any game time, if he can help us out through the season. Let's jump in to the action. Time for the first game of the episode. We're at home at Boundary Park hosting Portsmouth. It's a Tuesday night encounter, so the reserves are going to have to do a job here. I've made a couple of little changes. Olsen has been pushed to the reserves. Kuti has been pushed to the first team. I know a lot of you have been asking for it. Jill is knocking on the door, but he really needs to show something here in the twos before he gets that first team role. Other than that, no real changes here. Delphist is up front. Binhammer, Han, obviously Chimichuku is out on loan now. Uh, Boys is going to try his hand here at central midfield, but we've got cast off on the bench if required. Let's get into this game and see if we can take three points against Portsmouth. Right, ladies and gentlemen, match day 33, and as per usual, it is raining in the north of England. Uh, let's see if we can get three points here against Portsmouth. We need to push on now. We need to really cement a spot here in at least the top six. I want to play playoffs minimum. Uh, if we could get a top two finish, that would be outstanding, but we would need a lot of results to go our way in regards to the other teams. Uh, we are the top scoring team in the league though, so let's hope we can continue that today. Delph is getting that role now, and uh, hopefully he can uh, jump straight into it. Binhammer looking to score some goals as well. Let's do this. Binhammer drives forward. Come on, Don Sunhan. Yes, lad. Move forward, the big Korean. Drives inside the box, cuts back inside, lays it off, and oh, unlucky there for Binhammer. I think McGee got a touch on it, and it is a corner for Oldham. A lot of tall timber in this reserve side. That's over the back and no one really there to take it on. Are you fucking serious? Fuck's sake, our defensive line is an absolute shambles. White and Rishi have done fuck all there. And sees us 1-0 down to Portsmouth in the 22nd minute. We're going to have to watch the replay here because that was an absolute joke defensively there from Oldham. You want to push on, you want to play Premier League. The reserves need to be doing a job for us. Olsen caught in no man's land. The ball comes inside. Rishi calling for offside. And Noah White once again looks to have cost us a goal. And that's why you're in the reserves, mate, because uh, you just don't seem to be doing a job for us. Look at him. He's fucking almost fallen over in his own dick. Jill can't make the save. It's 1-0. Hendrickson with a long searching ball. It's a lovely ball out for Tommy Martin. He's going to have to do something here. Drives inside of the back stick. Picked out by McGee. And there's just no real fluency in Oldham's play here so far today. We just cannot get a clean strike in on goal. Portsmouth defending well and then attacking with uh, serious vengeance. There they go again. It's low. Rishi needs to get back. White actually does something with his life. It's almost half time and I think we've had like two strikes on goal. Well, there is the whistle. A tough first half there for Oldham when we see ourselves 1-0 down to Portsmouth. Hammer's trying to push on, but picked off. Boyce is there, slips one through, finds Delphis, uses a burn of pace, takes the strike, and he's missed. Pace and drives forward. Tommy Martin makes the run. Come on, Tommy. Find us a goal, son. Get in, son! 
Well, the captain strikes. It's 1 1. We get the equaliser. And Tommy Martin dives through the traffic. It was a lovely ball through from Delphist. Tommy Martin cool as a cucumber, rushes the keeper and finds the goal. We equalise at home to make it 1 1. We can't afford to be dropping any points now. And he beats the keeper there, the Belgian. His second goal of the season. It's 1 1. It's involved. Olsen down the line. Tommy Martin again. He's got a resurgence here. Drives his way forward. He'll look for a cross inside. Look for Delphis out the back. Here is Boyce trying to bring it inside. That's picked off as well. It looks like Oldham are starting to work their way into the game finally. Delphis takes his man on. Delphis! Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, two changes. Boyce out for Karstorp. He'll get his debut here. Don Sunhan checks out as well. And Kennedy checks into the camera. Delphis to the wing and Bin Hammer up front. We need a fucking second goal here. Not wide. Delphis tips over the top. Kennedy makes the run. We'll have to see something here from Kennedy. Drives inside for Bin Hammer. Oh, come on! All right, final change is being made. El Masri checks in for Delphis. He is absolutely juiced. Seven minutes to go. Plays forward with Bin Hammer. Waits for the run. El Masri makes the run. Let's go, El Masri. Find something. Oh, what was the pass? And there is the whistle. Well, we secure a point, but it wasn't good enough. And we're going to have to do a lot better in the future if we want to play Premier League football. Seven shots to six. Just wasn't creative enough here today by the looks of things. Tommy Martin gets the goal and an 8.6 leading from the front. 6-3 for Ben Hammer. Didn't have much influence. A 6-7 from Don Sun Han. 6-7 from Ian Boyce. A 7-7 for Delphi. He tried hard and he got the assist. A 6-6 there for Jill. 7-7 for Cooper with six defensive efforts. 7-7 for Noah White. Six interceptions and a tackle, but you cost us a goal, mate. 7-3 for Ricci. You can see our back line was under the pump. Five defensive efforts there. Olsen, 7-1. Uh, 6-6 for Karsdorp on debut. A 7-2 for Henriksen. 6-7 for El Masri. 6-5 for Kennedy. And get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Second game of the episode, we travel to the Den to take on Millwall. A couple of changes here to the first team. I swapped Edwards and Bernard over on their uh, wings, respectively. Edwards is a left uh, midfielder with a left foot. Bernard is a left winger, right midfielder with a right foot. So we'll see how that works out for us. Kuti into this starting lineup now. And uh, we need three points here desperately on the road to stay in contention. Let's get into this game and see if Guerin can find some goals as he is the leading goal scorer at the fucking championship. All right, match day 34 coming off a draw with the reserves. The first team will be out here in full force and they need to get the job done. We need to push on here. We need to look like that respected team that wants to play Premier League football. This is the first team, so they should be able to do the job. Let's do this, boys. Probably touch from Bernard. Back inside here, Alfie Lee, Cameron Griffiths plays forward. Guerin, oh, he's hit the side bar, but it was offside. Well, it's a free kick here, and it is Barros to step over it. Can he find a goal here? No, that one's into the wall. Out the back door, Edwards gets the touch. Cameron Griffiths tried to push it on, but picked off. Plays it inside, Cameron Griffiths finds Alfie Lee, and he's going to take his man on here, Alfie. Cut back inside, passes it off, finds Co through the traffic, it's Cameron Griffiths. Cameron Griffiths! Oh, that is a lovely finish from Cameron. Oh, they've said put him on the wing, but can you take him away from this central attacking midfield role? He assists and he scores his eighth goal of the season. And don't forget he had a two-month injury. 1-0 to Oldham in the 40th minute. And that is a good time to score. A little bit of momentum moving towards the halftime whistle. Cameron Griffiths gets the job done. And it is 1-0 here to the Lennox. Elfie Lee just with a persistence. Cole quick touch on and Cameron Griffiths takes it on. It's a lovely finish. And that makes it one goal to nil. Did it take a deflection? No, it did not. It was just a lovely strike. Keeper couldn't get there. 1-0 to Oldham. We'll lay it off now. Cameron Griffiths still coming through. Still comes Cameron Griffiths. Takes the strike. It's a long driven shot. Good save from the keeper. There is the whistle. 1 0 to the Lennox. Oh my fucking god! Just clear the fucking thing! You press the fucking clear button a good three fucking times and it's.
it's like bleh, 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 and then the fucking attacker scores. It's fucking bullshit. Fuck's sake. Pisses me off. Clearance. Straight to the fucking attacker. We give it up again. It's 1 1. Fuck's sake. Oh, it's a free kick here. Another chance for Barros. What can he do with this one? Up and over. Oh, good save from King. A better free kick there from Barros. We will get an opportunity here with the corner. Rupinard drives inside. Oh, Joel Edwards! Back in the lead at 2 1. And Edwards gets his third goal of the season, starting to find a little bit of touch now. It's what we've needed all season. We need everyone firing if we want to be a quality side here. There's no room to be sitting on the fucking bus and getting a free ride. Joel Edwards gets the job done. And we're back in the lead at 2-1. Wearing chips over the top. Asks a lot here of Cameron Griffiths, but he comes through and fires it out here. Joel Edwards will cut back inside, pulls the trigger and hits the sidebar. All right, one change being made here. Gambridge being checked in for Alfie Lee. The boys are getting tired here. They have done a lot of running here today. Cameron Griffiths. Oh, Cameron Griffiths gets the run here from Guerin. Oh, it's a lovely finish from the Cameron Bear Assassin. Gets in 17 goals for the season. The Golden Boot leader. It's 3 1 to Oldham Athletic. What a ball through. Coe to Cameron Griffiths. Another assist for Cameron this season. And a class finish there from Guerin. Just low. Got the bounce, and that was enough to put the keeper off. It's just gone over his hand, and that makes it 3-1. Right, two changes. Our wingers are dead. Absolutely dead. Edwards and Bernard will check out. Delphist and Tommy Martin checking into the game. 12 minutes to go. Finds Co. Slips through. Finds Guerin. Ah, oh, blocked this time. Gavrich. Lovely ball from Gavrich. It's good delivery. Tommy Martin drives forward. Here's the cross inside for Guerin. Who can't keep this one down, but it's a 3-1 victory. Three points in the bank for Oldham Athletic. Well, 15 shots to six. We've played them off the park. And Cameron Griffiths, another outstanding performance from him. One goal, one assist. 6-3 uh, for Tommy Martin. An 8-5 for Guerin. A lovely finish from him today. 7-9 for Elfie Lee. Uh, an 8-6 for Joel Edwards. A better day at the office for him. I'm not sure about him on the left. I think I still prefer him on the right-hand side. But got a goal from the set piece and an 8.6. Bernard gets involved. Doesn't matter where he plays. He always likes to get in on the action and assist at a 9.0. 7-2 there for Cooper with a clean sheet. No, he didn't. But he got four saves. And a 7-7 for Barros with four defensive efforts. Giron Jelly, 7-6. 7-4 for Klein, a 7-5 for Kuti, four intercepts and uh, really relishing that job uh, in the first team. 6-7 for Gabbridge, uh, an 8-7 for Ko, he got an assist. Uh, a 7 for Delphist, uh, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. All right, time for some more training. Delph is up to a 71, that patch can't come quick enough. Right, still scouting here in Portugal, and Marcos Andrade was still keeping an eye on here at 78 to 94. Five foot 11. If he's a centre midfielder, he will come in. If he's a centre back, he's got no chance. And we've also got Ricardo Alves at 67 to 91, a new lad to the report. We are in Nigeria, and once again, it's brought us back nothing. We're still looking here, though, at Julius Shigari, 72 to 92. And we are here in England. We've got Ewan Baker, 66 to 90. Harrison Morgan, 69 to 93. And Jordan King, 77 to 94. Now, Harrison Morgan has a value of 975 grand. So he will be coming straight into our youth academy. All right, let's have a look at our current youth academy. Max Green, 61 overall, 81 to 94 potential. Looking good for the future. Harrison Morgan, we've just brought in, is a 66 overall technically gifted central attacking midfielder. 69 to 93, so that potential could go anywhere. We're going to hold him in the academy just for now, but could be a hot prospect for the future. Alexander Madsen, 50 overall, 79 to 89. No, that's not good enough for me. See you later. Uh, Nicholas Carlson is ready to come in to the fold. 50 59 overall, 91 to 94 potential right back. Welcome. We are signing you straight into the first team. 
Uh, Alberto Maldonado, 62 overall, 88 to 94. Um, I'm going to hold him a little bit longer, just hoping those reactions grow, but we'll probably sign him shortly. Uh, Noah Taylor, 61 overall, 90 to 94 potential. We will bring in at some stage, I feel. Bruno Ferreira, 62 overall. Uh, he's 17 years of age, 73 to 87 potential. Um, you know, 17, we'd probably only be bringing him in for cash. So I'm going to hold just for now. I don't want to chew up too much in positions and wages. Uh, Alex Contenciao is a 60 overall, 82 to 94 potential left midfielder. And uh, Ethan Smith, 50 overall, 82 to 94 potential midfielder. So, um... Oh, do we start bringing lads in? I mean, they're 17... I'll give them, it's only February, no, it's March, so decisions, 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 decisions. You know what? Fuck it. Let's bring them all in. If they're shit, we'll worry about that later. Welcome to the first team. 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 And welcome to the first team. We've just cleared out the Youth Academy. Just Max Green and Ethan Smith remaining. Well, unfortunately, Lauren Bernard has suffered a sprained knee. He's going to be missing for four weeks, so that might hurt us a little bit, pushing uh, on towards, hopefully, promotion. And we've also been offered a role at Benfica. Uh, let's view the job offer, and let's say fuck off. All right, so let's have a quick look here. Maldonado is an exciting prospect at 62 overall. Uh, a big Mexican unit at six foot five. Oh, he's got a trait as well, and he is a one-club player. Welcome, Elderberto Maldonado. Will he be the man for the future? We'll have to wait and see. 55 reactions at this stage. Right, Nicholas Carlson, we can't see his potential just yet at 59, but uh, we will see it when it hits 60. He can play all across the back. That is outstanding from the Swede. Only 5 foot 11 with a high defensive work rate. We'll bloody take that. And uh, hopefully a hot prospect there for the future. We've signed Noah Taylor. He has the potential to be special from Canada. Can play central defensive midfield and a centre back. Uh, what's he got going on here? Five foot eleven with a high defensive work rate. Obviously defensive minded. So we'll see how he turns out in the future for us. Uh, Bruno Ferreira doesn't have a potential. So uh, a cash signing here. To be fair, um, we just know that already because we don't see that he has a potential. One star weak foot. Yeah, pretty average. So that's more of a cash cow. Alex Contichau has an exciting prospect at sixty overall. A Brazilian left winger. Cam high work rates. Five foot seven. Uh, we'll see how he develops. All right, Harrison Morgan. I mean, see, this is this is the issue. 975 grand, but doesn't have a potential. 66 overall already. So, uh, five-star weak foot, high work rates. I mean, he's got all the aspects to be something good. Maybe a loan spell and he might get a potential. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, what happens with Harrison Morgan. Right, final game of the episode. Cootie up to a 71. That's good to see. Uh, we've got Norwich at home. Uh, big injury there to Bernard without him for four weeks. Tommy Martin comes in on the right-hand side into the first team. And let's see if we can get three points here over Norwich. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's raining. It's Boundary Park. It's match day 35. And, well, no Bernard here today. Tommy Martin gets a chance here in the first team. And let's hope that we can get three points here over Norwich. Guerin looking for some more goals. Come on, boys. We need to push on here. Let me get a corner out of it. Tommy Martin to deliver. Drives inside. Cleared out the back door. Cameron Griffiths hits one from range. Oh, Krull gets a save on it. What a save. Corner for Norwich. They play this one in short. Hernandez tries to get through. Tommy Martin plays it inside. Cantwell back to Hernandez. Jelly is there. They play it off. Here's the strike. Oh, off the sidebar. Get over there, Cootie. Does well. Kieran Jelly clears. And here is Guerin. Fires it out wide. Come on, Tommy Martin. Come on, son. Come on. Give me some Belgian chocolate. Oh, Jesus. He's taken down. Careful. Fucking careful, mate. Just a yellow. We've got an opportunity here for a set piece. Martin, it's that ball out from Guerin, pushing back. Lays it off for Cootie, who played his forward now for Joel Edwards. Gets the touch, but gets held up. Jolski gets in and makes a good challenge. It's better from Joel. We need you now, son. Drives forward, here's the cross inside for Cameron Griffiths. Oh, it's brilliant football from Oldham. 1-0 to the Lanks, 25 minutes gone. And Joel Edwards, well, he knew he 
Kyrie needed to stand up, especially with the injury to Bernard. He's done very well there, and fuck me, isn't Cameron Griffiths having some sort of season? 1-0, his ninth goal for the season. And the Laddocks in the box seat, 25 minutes gone. All the skill and determination there on show from Edwards. Quirin as the decoy, and Griffiths with the finish. 1-0. Melfi Lee pushes his way inside, takes the strike, Krull gets a touch and will get a corner. And Oldham looking quite menacing. Melfi Lee drives up, looks for Giricelli! Yes lad, 2-0! And that is a big finish from the big Italian. Fifth goal of the season for the big man at centre back. Oh, we brought him in, we weren't sure of his prospects, but fuck me. I just had an inkling that he was going to be something special. And five goals is a huge return from a centre-back. Look at him. He just rises majestically. And it's 2-0 to the Latex. And Norwich have been hit twice in five minutes. And will they have an answer? Gets in. Well, Coe is tackling like a man possessed at the moment. He's just trying to take everyone out. It's a free kick here for Norwich. And Cooper with a good save. Norwich holding a lot of possession. Garen Jelly gets in the way. Well, Norwich happy with the possession, but they're not really getting the shots away. We're blocking the space quite well. They come inside though. Oh, Alfie Lee. Oh, Jesus. Clear that out. Good work, Clyde. And there is the whistle for half time. An electrifying five minutes sees us 2 0 up at half time. Oh, great save from Cooper. Great save. They tore us apart. Opened up a pathway to the net, Kudu was putting the pressure on and Cooper with a really big save. He comes up in the clutch a lot more than most of our goalkeepers. And it's a corner here for Norwich. Are they playing short? No, they will not. Cameron Griffiths there just to clear it away. Good from Edwards. And Guerin takes his man on. Come on, Guerin. Use that pace, son. Oh, it's a brilliant break away from Guerin. Oh, yeah! Come on, son! into an unassailable position. They cannot get back from here. What a fucking manoeuvre there from Guerin. He just took off like a greyhound at the races, waited to the last second to pull the trigger. Tim Krull comes out, and he's beaten all ends up by the Frenchman. And the Camembert assassin strikes again. 18 goals for the season, and it's 3-0 to Oldham. Right, 3-0 up. Let's make three changes. Delphis, Gambridge, and Don Sunhan check in for Edwards, Alfie Lee, and Tommy Martin. They've done their jobs here today. Oh, Guerin again. What touch. What skill. What's he got left in the tank? Oh, he's pulled the trigger. Oh, he's hit the side by Cameron Griffiths. Swoops in like a seagull on a hot chip. And it's 4-0 Oldham. Guerin's starting to tear it up. And him and Cameron Griffiths have got some sort of partnership going here. A little bit of man love between Griffiths and Guerin. And it's 4-0. Well, that was a huge manoeuvre. He's hit the sidebar again. I mean, how many goals would Guerin have scored if he could stop hitting that fucking sidebar? It's like a magnet. But uh, Griffiths finishes it off, and Norwich have no answer. Come on, Barros, you jump. Yes, lad. Barros jumps. And here is Don Sunhan. He'll push forward. Slams one on, look to Aguerin, that's picked off. Delfist. Griffiths, Delfist, 5 0! Delfist with a goal, his second of the season. And Norwich have just been like lambs to the slaughter. Oh my days, we've turned it on here in the second half. Cameron Griffiths with another assist. Are you having a laugh, mate? Are you fucking serious right now? Cameron Griffiths has probably got more assists than Guerin's got goals this season. And it makes it 5-0 to the Lanix. And his co. Fires one. Oh, it's a lovely touch from Delphist. How did he even? Plays it back inside looking for Cameron Griffiths, but picked off here in this defensive line are an absolute shaky shambles. Barros gets in. Guerin's going to try for this. Does get the touch, but that one's picked off. And Oldham are attacking like a fucking... Dog on heat. Drives his way through the middle. Off to Coe. Gets the touch. Delphis flicks on. It's lovely. Cameron Griffiths gets one through. Guerin! Oh! Unlucky. 
Somehow Krull gets a touch on it. Cameron Griffiths drives inside. Krull out the back. Coe gets a big touch on this one. But there is the whistle. What a performance from Oldham Athletic. 5-0. Well, we only had the 10 shots, but fuck me. We put them in 13 tackles. What a performance. That's the kind of performance you want to see from Oldham Athletic. Cameron Griffiths, two goals, an assist, and a 9.6. He is having some sort of a season. 8.9 for Dolphus checks in and gets himself a lovely goal. Guerin with a goal as well and a 9.0. 9.4 for Joel Edwards with the assist. Uh, a 7.5 for Tommy Martin. 8.4 for Alfie Lee with an assist. 7.8 for Cooper. Six saves in a clean sheet. 7.6 for Barry. 9-2 for Girangeli, 6 defensive efforts and a goal, why not? A 7-7 seven, seven for Klein, 7-8 seven, for Kuti, 7 for Gabrich, an 8-5 for Ko, uh, a 6-5 for Don Sunhan. Fuck, it's going to be tough to vote in this one, but uh, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. All right, let's keep this training going here. Maybe we can push these lads on. Time for today's player upgrade. It's the Brazilian right midfielder in Henriquez. Uh, showing great potential, so we'll have to see how he goes around the club. I'll obviously give him opportunities to shine, and if not, he will be shipped out at some stage. Uh, we just want you know really high prospects as we push in towards the Premier League. The youth players, as you start signing them later in the career mode, really need to be show, um, you know potential to be special so that they can grow quick enough. Um, but anyway, we'll have a red hot crack here. If you want to make any changes to his number or his kit, let me know in the comment section down below. Below, as per usual and throw a thumbs up on anything that you think will suit Henriquez. Good luck. Whoever gets the most thumbs up gets the upgrade. And that is where we finish today's episode. We've got a game over West Brom and that means that we are sitting in third position. Stoke have fallen from grace. Now they started off half the season without losing a game except to us and they've lost eight now and that sees them slip back to second position. Bristol City on an absolute run. Uh, are on 77 points, so they're 11 points clear of us. I'm not sure how many games are left in the season, to be fair, but I don't think it's catching them. But uh, what are we? We're only five points back on Stoke. So an opportunity here, possibly, for automatic promotion if we can uh, slip into that second position. That would be nice. Um, starting to make a little bit more of a, a clean cut from the rest of the pack. Um, you know, Sheffield Wednesday only on 54 points, so Brentford and Burnley will be pushing for those uh, playoff positions, if they can get their seasons, you know, cranking along. Burnley have only played the 34 games, so they're right in it. They could be in third position if they win the next two sort of thing. So uh, it's still dicey, but if we keep this form going, I mean, 5-0 against Norwich, uh, who are definitely not having that good a season down in 14th. Um, but who have we got up next? Preston, and they sit in fifth. So an opportunity for us to, uh, you know, spread a little bit more of a gap between the teams below us. Join us next time in the next episode. It should be fucking sick. And we will see you then. I'm Spain DK. It's five o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product, Clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now. Use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product. I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you want to know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on that website. If you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.